Hi there, welcome back to Desolation Town. We are here with Mart and Lucian, and so this is their castle. Uh, if you're just joining me, we are renovating an abandoned town and playing with life stories in a rotational uh, format where, where we're actually filling up the houses in all of Willow Creek, and then we're playing each household rotationally. So the goal is to renovate each of the houses and bring this town back to its former glory or <laughs> into some kind of glory. I don't know what you would call former, but uh, to renovate all the buildings so that they're nice and functional again. And, and so, yeah, why don't we jump into build mode and we will get rid of our 25 things. So each... Each household gets to remove 25 pieces of garbage or debris or uh, gunk <laughs> in their house each rotation. So um, for Martin Lucian, we've got most of the front entrance, if not all of it, is cleaned up. I'm not even sure. Um, I don't see any more stuff on the walls. There might be a little bit of stuff in here maybe. No, I think we're done the front entrance, so I was going to move on to the kitchen and get that all cleaned up, and then maybe the dining room slash bathroom. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay, these walls need a lot of scrubbing, so yeah, we still got lots on this wall. Uh, I think there's still quite a bit on this wall, and... Uh, yeah, there's lots of scrubbing that can that needs to be done. So, Mart is fairly old already, so he can't do it all in one big chunk. So, <laughs> little bits at a time. And they have no power because we need to pay the bills, which are over five thousand dollars. I'm surprised the repo people haven't come yet. Um, yeah, five thousand sixty-three dollars. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of bills to pay. I mean, it is a castle. you got to expect that it's going to be expensive to run a castle. So, basically, most of the castle is, the lighting is candlelight, so not a huge problem. But, uh, yeah, it would be nice to have some power and stuff like that in here, too. Because Mart needs to use his computer, which does not work with no power. <laughs> Even though it is a laptop, and he could have charged it somewhere, but I guess that doesn't count. <laughs> um, so he's got work in 34 minutes, so he hasn't filled out the reports because we have not had access to our computer. Plus, we want to, we want to have him uh, create a will so that he leaves the place, and if he has any funds. <laughs> right now it's just debt. But if he has any funds, then he would leave that all to Lucian. So that is one of the reasons why he adopted Lucian, is so that he could leave a legacy behind, and then Lucian can uh, start a family here and, and pass it down through generations. All right, what are you up to? So even though we don't have the fill out, filled out reports done, then um, I'm hoping that he'll get his promotion. So we might have to work hard today. I don't think we'll get a promotion today. But maybe we can move this bar up quite a bit. So we'll work hard today, and then Lucien will be home first, I think. Yeah, he gets off at 5, and Lucien gets off at 3. And of course, they have to run all the way here because the house didn't fit the other way. Uh, Lucian is super excited to turn in his dolphin poster, illustrations, photos, fun facts. It has it all. But all the kids are crowding around another kid's poster, which shimmers with silvery detail. Lucian could say he forgot his and then add more stuff at recess. I think we'll just turn it in on time. Uh, <laughs> Lucian decides oh, to take pride in his work and not risk getting a late mark. Brandishing his poster, he turns it in, earning a flaccid, flaccid smile from the teacher and a bright red B. So he must have been a C student before. Okay, dirty money. Go, going over some routine expense reports, Mart notices some lines that don't seem to match up. 
Upon further investigation, he discovers that a lot of money is being funneled out into some secretive executive accounts. Mark doesn't have much standing at the company yet, but this seems like the kind of thing he should take to the authorities, right? So if he turns it over, he's going to lose his job, but his re reputation and fame will go up. Or he could lose the papers and keep his job, and I think we're going to lose the papers because we need the job more. So, unfortunately, yeah, those were our choices. We don't like dirty money, but at least not Mart, anyways. Maybe, maybe uh, Vince would. <laughs> okay, B is not bad grade, but that doesn't mean there's room for, isn't room for improvement. All right, we have a school project, and he has to do his homework. So, let's get the homework out of the way first. And then we'll set the school project down over here. Oh, where are you going? You're probably... Are you going to play in the puddle? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, you've got some fish in here. Be nice to get an aquarium for Lucian to put his fish in. <laughs> At least this is a source of fun. Okay, but you're supposed to be doing your homework. Um, or not. We can make our homework an heirloom. Uh, must be a glitch. <laughs> Unless he just doesn't need to do his homework. I mean, he just got back from school, so you would think he would have to do his homework. But he's going to willingly work on his school project. And then he also has scouts. So we'd like to get a little bit further on our scouts thing. So let's check that first. Um, view that badge progress. Oh, and he also has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> We need more toilets in this place too, so we'll use the toilet there, because he does have an ensuite here, so he does have a place for his own toilet and bath and shower and stuff like that, but, but so far we haven't had time to go to the dumpster or the money to buy. We need to pay the bills. Okay, to earn this badge, perform cleaning or repair actions. So we've got seven out of eight, so we could probably get that one. And then good deeds. So entertain a toddler, make someone laugh, take out the trash, or help someone with their homework. Okay. Keep fit. So do we have any um, exercise or uh, music things? Oh, we do have the Grimm's thing, I think. Sociable. Perform friendly socials with another another sim. So we can do those. And then arts and crafts, we'd need to get an arts and crafts table. So um, we don't want to spend any money right now because I really need to save it up. <laughs> okay, you're going to go to the bathroom. And then is there anything to clean up? Oh, yeah, there's lots of stuff to clean up. So why don't you do that? Throw away. Okay, should be able to do this now. No? Oh, I see. Because we have no water. Okay, so we can't do that. Can we put it in our inventory? No. So we can't do any cleaning. Okay, Mart is home. He brought home 160 simoleons. Alright, we also want Mart to work on his will. Um, actually, why don't we head over to... Actually, we're going to put this in our inventory. Uh, let's put it in our inventory. And then let's take Lucian to Ravenwood. And we're going to go purchase a will. Do we have one already? Did I get one the last time? Bills. Okay. So let's travel with Lucian here. Stefan's calling to go to the hijinks, Humor and Hijinks Festival. But no, we're... We got lots of stuff to do, and we have very little time to do it. All right, I think that's over here. Okay, we want Lucian to come with us, because Lucian can greet some people and work on that part of his uh, club thing. Okay, so there is a building here somewhere. Oh, I think it's this building, right? Okay, so we want to start a will. All right, and Lucian, are there other people here? <laughs> There's like nobody here. Uh, Jen's here, I guess. Let's go talk to Jen. Okay, let's 
just stop this for a second. Are you chatting with the ghost? Well, maybe that'll count. <laughs> He's probably come to um, Afterlife Anonymous. And Jen's hanging out here because she still remembers being a ghost. <laughs> oh, are you going to the crypt? You're a pretty brave kid. <laughs> Who is this? This is... Mysterious Merchant. Okay, Mart has created a will which can be found in his inventory. It is now up to him to decide who is most deserving of each inheritance. Keep in mind that simoleons from the Brower household cannot be passed down to other households unless Mart is the last sim in the household to die. What? Oh, to other households. But it will go to Lucian. Alright. Oh, not you. Okay, does this count? Downplay stress. We'll let you do that. So, meantime, why don't you come sit here, and then we'll get your computer out. We'll get your reports done. Oh, you're also hungry. Okay. So let's. Um, okay, we gotta. I think it's under web, right? Fill out reports. So we'll do that. I mean, we forgot to get him to work hard, and then. Let's see if we can get his update will, read will, okay, update will, um, dependents, we want Lucien to be our dependent, oh, no, that's not, update will, let's see, oh, this is if he dies before Lucien uh, becomes an adult, so where do we want... Okay, so we got the Crumple Bottom sisters. Let's see. Where would he go? Well, we don't want him to go anywhere, but if all of a sudden he does, I think we would have him go to the Crumple Bottoms. <laughs> all right, and then update Will. Uh, Sim remains. Simoleons. Give 100% of. Oh. Okay, so does everything automatically go to Lucian then? Uh, can I read Will? No, I don't want to read this. Because he's not dead. Update Will. Read Will. Destroy Will. Okay. The following actions will take effect. The following actions will take effect when all Sims age teen and older in the Brower household die. Lucian Brower goes to the Crumple Bottom household. Okay, so, but will Lucian still inherit the castle is my question. Are you filling out reports? Yeah. Where are you, Lucian? Why don't you come over here? Can you exercise? I might have to click on him. Can you resume this? No. Once you're done, why don't you resume those? Where is Lucian? Making his way to the center. It's nighttime already. So yeah, the will thing, I guess, I guess it automatically all goes to Lucian. Because I thought you'd be able to, like, say, uh, your house, your money go, your house goes here, your money goes here. Yeah, you're hungry. Can you exercise? Uh, let's see. Daydream star graves. Moon bathe. More choices. Okay. Are you done your reports yet? Oh, almost. Well, I wanted to be able to get some scout stuff done. I guess you could... Can you clean out your inventory? <laughs> Be gross. View badge project progress. I guess you can still do that, so let's have a look. See if there's anything in this park area. We can give Mart some gifts, I guess. Uh, let's see. Friendly, affection, give gift. All right, what have we got that we can give? We can give him these stone things. Okay, did you finish your reports? We'll put this back in our inventory. Oh, you didn't like that? <laughs> okay, let's resume this so we can eat, and then we probably should just go home. The will is not what I thought it would be. Okay, you're really hung. Oh, and you're cold. Let's change your clothes. Here, Lucian, you want to go talk to a specter? Or play with one. Yeah, let's play with one. Play with the specter. 
Oh, I guess you can eat too. What else do you need? You're hungry and you're also tired. So yeah, we'll, we'll quickly wrap this up and then we'll go home. Okay, well, why don't you grab a serving? No need for you to just let it sit there. <laughs> Is the specter coming to us? Looks like he's cautiously kind of walking to it. <laughs> are you actually, are you playing with it? <laughs> okay, well that was playing. Interesting. <laughs> it wasn't much. Okay, and then Mark, you can put this in your inventory and we can take that home since we spent money on it. We still have a long ways to go before we get $5,000. <laughs> we need that inheritance uh, pop-up to come where the random ghost just gives his money away. <laughs> Not a whole lot of people here today. They might be at the Afterlife Anonymous meeting. I think that's in Moonwood or some, not Moonwood. Uh, that is in Morningvale. Okay, let's go home. No point in just staying here when you're both tired. It's already midnight. <laughs> yeah, you're both very tired. Need to get to school. Oh, why are you scared? Oh, the specter scared you? Oh. Okay, you guys can head to bed. Oh, you can go to the bathroom first. And you can just go to sleep. Aw. The angry... S oh, how could something so cute get so angry? <laughs> Lucien's upset the wrong specter today. Oh, his little tongue sticking out did not impress the specter. That wasn't the way. <laughs> he should play. So hopefully that doesn't have residual effects. Uh, just for two hours, he's going to be scared. <laughs> well... We could get uh, Mart to read him a story. He seems to be sleeping okay. Okay, so then you're going to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, Will. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Uh, I may have uh, clicked on something that I shouldn't have, maybe. Or maybe it's just that basic. <laughs> Alright, so... I think one thing that these bedrooms need in this big castle are big fireplaces. To <laughs> that would seem like something that would be in the castle. Alright, so let's have a look at the neighborhood stories. Oh, Lucien's having nightmares now. Let's check them out. Maya and Saya now despise each other. The town of hate. Max, G Gustav, and Victor have more distant friendship. I don't know who Victor is. I keep calling Vince Victor. Willow Creek. At the Walt household, Anita and Vince welcome their new baby. We we know that. We were there. Uh, Miley and Saya have become friends. Uh, Stefan and Mart have a closer friendship. Paul Redborn in the Evergreen Townies household has died. Paul stuck a finger in a plug and, electri and electricity came out. And... Jasper McMurdy in the McMurdy household is now an office assistant in the business career, so he works with Mart. Uh, Glad and Dylan now despise each other. That's a love-hate relationship if I ever saw one. Afu Famuana in the Famuana household is now a prolific whistler in the lifeguard career, so he works with Glad. And then nothing of note has happened recently, so let's jump into the world map. Okay, so... Uh, Mark did get his will done, so hopefully that works out the way I think it's going to work out. Um, I'm really hoping that Lucien will be a teenager before Mart passes away, so that Lucien doesn't have to move in with the Crumple Bottoms, which who knows where they live. Maybe the Crumple Bottoms would move into the, the castle, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Hopefully it it is what I think it is and, and that the castle and the funds would go to Lucien should something happen to Mart. So if you know more, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Next, we will be going over to the Kennedy Russo household. Uh, don't mind Isabella there. She, she ate some food that keeps her as a ghost. So apparently it was paused since the last game, but it's a four-hour moodlet 
kind of thing where she's a ghost for four hours. <laughs> so she will be coming back to life, I hope. And I guess if not, then then uh, uh, Alan will become very busy with the kids and everything. Which reminds me, Isabella should probably make a will so that I guess they would automatically go to Alan. Yeah, because I think all the members of the household, teen and above, have to have passed away before the kids get distributed. So, so yeah, it should be okay if she doesn't come back. Because <laughs> I don't know how many more Sims we're going to save. We might just have to go through the grieving process and let them go. I still do want to bring back Edward. So, um... Let's see, today was Sunday in the Sims game, so, it, no, it was Monday, so Tuesday will be Alan and Isabella, and then Wednesday will be Dylan, so Glad won't be able to find Edward, and Glad will have the Ambrosia, so it might be a while before um, he can give that to Edward. And in the meantime, what we found out through the neighborhood stories is that uh, Stefan here has formed a relationship with Anna Marie, which we haven't played them yet. So it'll be interesting. They probably haven't even met yet. So that's kind of a weird thing. Sometimes I just ignore that just because everybody would be bouncing around from partner to partner like constantly. And I don't think I'm equipped to play that kind of drama. <laughs> but we, we don't mind a little bit of drama. So so if Stefan is interested in Anna Marie, he could potentially be the stepdad to the kids. So we don't know for sure what's going to happen there and what will happen with Edward. Because I don't know if his relationship with Anna Marie will still be there. Like I haven't checked her relationship panel or any of the kids's to see if Edward's there so um, that would be unfortunate if it isn't because we often I've often seen Anna Marie um, well we did see her at the bar at ghost night almost like she was waiting for Edward to show up since we moved them in I hope it hasn't like erased all the relationship between them so we may have made a mistake by moving them in before we brought Edward back, but I don't know. We might have to say goodbye to Edward. Uh, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. It would be, be kind of sad, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's still a ways till we get to Anna Marie and her kids. Uh, she's got three kids, it looks like, and I have no idea what state this house is in. Uh, so yeah, we'll play... Alan and Isabella tomorrow, which is Thursday, Friday, Dylan, Monday, uh, Jan and Glad, and probably Tuesday as well, and Wednesday, hmm, we could, Miley, we could do Miley Wednesday, she might, we might play her Wednesday to Friday, but if we get Glad to make the Ambrosia, he could give it as a gift to Miley, which she gave him the death flower as a gift. So we could get Miley to go to Ghost Night and see if she can't give Edward <laughs> the Ambrosia and see what happens once Edward's alive. Would he go back to here? He might come back to here. We might move him into here. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. It's kind of my thoughts anyways <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments but anyways I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you like to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to do so and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye